big stack for Bren, though. Are they committing to this? Nah, somewhat. It's not four people out, A, like I thought it was going to be. They are going to throw the turret over there as well. Alarm bot up tube. I expect Bren Esports to probably play this a little bit slower, but they are actually pushing Dubstep and the Reyna out of A. They're getting a lot of map control for this. They're going to have such early info on this A site. And they have so much info toward B, too. This is really nice for Bren right now. Okay. And this is good, especially since Lightning Frag or Lightning Fast rather got that frag. Uh, you are gonna have to try and contend with. The jet still over on that side, so I like this push up mid from them. It's a rough start though, with skills falling down so early. They still have to actually get onto the site. Running a little bit low on time. They've got the spike too. Oh, this is oh, gone Markham. so poorly. Oh, they got torn to pit. Uh, Advantage. So good read from Bren coming into there. Revealing area. Now Global Esports just gonna rush up mid. Ooh, they do have to contend with that Marshall though. The buy from Bren Esports. They have snuck Rossi into tube, it seems. So I wonder if Bren Esports are respecting the fact that they've lost info on that part of the map, especially as that smoke comes down. It does seem on the map that there will be that little bit of engagement and it's lost by Rossi. So there goes the one little advantage that Global Esports could have worked with. Now they're just going to have to creep up tube and hope to find somebody from Bren Esports unaware. Uh, but that being said, speaking of where Dubstep knows there's people in kitchen, they know that they're potentially looking for B, and now Bren can potentially set this up. I mean, we also do see, you know, some other players pushing up onto, last potentially getting standing. up in their grill, and now Hell Rangers, the last one standing, and they're just going to be running into Bren's crosshair and more Dubstep. volatile than Bren Esports are necessarily hoping for. Dubstep could get deep smoked here by the Omen and forced off this angle, and if that happens, this op is not going to be very useful, at least early on in the round. Nobody's even pushing this, though. There's a camera, too. It spots dubstep. He's going to be forced off that angle, at least temporarily. But that's also the op spotted for global. So now they know they don't oh, want to go anywhere yeah. near B. But that said as well, that you can double that information much, uh, much in a way that you can start pushing up on A. It does depend on what they choose to do with that route, though. As Bren will be pretty much ready. They do hear Molly and Utility shots fire, so it looks like the rotation will start happening. Though Doves that will hold down that ground because they're not in a player disadvantage at the moment. Rossi will take the first peek. See if they can find him. Great follow-up. Nice early frag onto them. They will be locking down the site as the rest of them will start going down. Smoke onto rafters, and now Ching's in an awkward situation. Both those shock darts blown so early, too. They are not there for the plant. Global Esports have plenty of time to try and just catch one more person on this A site. And because they're playing so slow, Bren Esport have to respect, are they going mid? Left. Are they going back to B? You've, you see that Dubstep is all the way over on the other side of the map. So on this A site, it's essentially a two versus four. Most of the utility used by Bren Esport too. They have one smoke. That recon dart is going to signal the push here for Global. That is, but Bren did get that information. Now they're going down one by one. It's a crosshair setup, and they take advantage. There's very little time. Seven seconds left on the clock, and now they have to, have to break the spike. Oh. And now it's falling apart for Global. They've taken too long, and basically this setup has worked. In the you world. need as much utility as you can get to actually go forward, take those bites advantageous, or in an advantageous scenario, instead of just running into a crossfire and getting mowed down. Even now, the utility alone. Oh, go ahead. No, I was just going to say, now it's eco for global. Yeah. I mean, even utility alone, you had the numbers advantage. You may as well have just pushed up there with the group. At least you would have been get, guaranteed yeah. the trades. That would have been nice, but here we go. Setting up on two, global esports. Power Ranger gets a little bit of shark dart attack and a great follow up and a pick coming in from our friend Ooh. Dubstep as they will find one pick. A, a nice head tap coming in from Jesse, but I mean, this is again sort of a a throwaway round that's just trying to maybe steal a gun, maybe dent the economy, but this is 
looking so good for Brand Esports, and yeah, that is as much damage as they're gonna do. Toward mid, so they want to get control of that part of the map. If this goes well for them, it's very realistic that they could take a pick and then split off the rotates from Brand, but they're not actually pushing that very aggressively. The Owl Drone used in mid early too, more than likely going to spot Rossi with that operator. Yeah, it absolutely does. And meanwhile, the other two sides of the map, the outsides of the map, A and B. There has been no ground gain for Global anywhere. No, but they might start doing that now, now that they notice that Dubstep is not there with the AWP. That said, though, interesting side note that there's also the Odin, and we're not even on Ascent, so no Sinatra shenanigans here to do. But yeah, Jesse's this is on the Odin. I'm interested to see how they go with it, but it doesn't really matter at the moment as Dispense will dispose of that member of global esports and there we go already locking it down not really sure where to look but skills okay. gets two and i mean that's pretty strong oh. but uh, what, you can make it two but there will be is three. that blockade it is just that wall of fire and information that they get a lot of times and bren you know they're on defense they're playing it passive they don't really have to worry about it yep that i mean these are just gonna look so clean just because there's practically no armor oh but that said those skills goes get at least the omen right. they do have maybe a better weapon to work with that is a potential opening to at least get a you know spike plan for some bonus some guns out of the way for bren uh you know odin go burr so it's you know, back to <laughs> player advantage so i, I mean know. you know respect to a degree their skills you get the first <laughs> kill you get the empress you pick up a gun you're like all right guys it's winnable but the rest of Global Esports wasn't even on that side of the hey, map. Hey, they forced out an ultimate. Pushed up that deep. I, they, did, they, got, they got the Hunter Fury out, so, you know. And the knives. Kudos. Bladestorm 2, that so helps. Uh, but, I mean, this is still rough for Global right now. I'm just trying to be um, half glass full for, you know, Global. Yeah, you know. it's okay. You'll do the half full. I'll do the half empty. We'll have a good All right, get the top back up. I understand. Oh, oh good goodbye. Oh. <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> oh, I don't. Oh, I don't agree with the hunter's fury being used there either. I don't... Well, I'm really curious as to see how Rossi does. I'm guessing it might be an A push just to jump on on nest and maybe try to get an opening. It does seem like a lot. They they have no interest in B on global esports. It seems. It seems that they are pretty much fervent on A, and they really, I think, need to just shake up the play style at the moment because there's some reads because like you see dispenser how pushed up they are in mid they are pretty much expecting just like either going for the flank or expecting somebody to cast them off guard might be able to do it oh, no. though that said the camera coming out if they use it i don't know i mean global esports they're waiting but either way dispenser is ready to dispose of them in Global Esports, they're taking a lot of time again for not a lot of ground gained. They're going to rush onto the A site now. There's nobody there to meet them. Bren Esport more than likely just going to play for a retake here. Jesse does seem to have some degree of line up there. That's a cheeky little angle there for the double shock dart. It does seem to be a little bit early. Dubstep still making stuff work, though. Global Esports they got already down to three players. They get the spike down. But now they have to get into a position where they can hold it. The flank has been deterred. It will be all four coming from defender spawn here for Brent. Now Rossi has the op and they're up on Nest. This is the most ideal situation. Nice smokes coming in there. But Rossi able to shoot through them. Dubstep does Defuse. go down one. Defuse. Them. They're oh. committed to... Oh my gosh. They do manage to finally get around the board. And at best for a lot of control of the site. I'd love to see more of that from Global as we keep going forward. They're going to use that Owl Drone. That'll spot the turret. They're going to be able to clear that pretty early, ideally. And if they play just a little bit slow over toward elbow, they toward B, they can work with that information advantage. This is a nice spot for Rossi, too. Spots the turret again. Actually, I believe it must have been canceled there, but unfortunately, Borkham's not going to stick around to keep that turret available. This is a slow push toward B, though. They're still pretty far from the site, so the rotate has already come over from Bren before the actual execute. And this is really nice. Uh, no, you know, only Sova's coming up on there to set up 
on Snowman. Dubstep is going to see if they can find some openings in mid. Jesse does manage to find Rossi. That's big. That's the op down. I don't know if they have anybody else going to try to run the op. They have a secondary op. I don't think so. They might be going down one by one. The trades are still working out in favor of Global Esports. They're bunkering down at Yellow, but the Spencer has no interest in that. She is the Empress of Yellow, and she will just mow them down one by one, and they are coming to the defuse, and while it looked like a potential opening, Lightning Fan shoots them down through the smoke, but no, I think there is enough time for Dispenser to be able to defuse it. Yes, there will be. Able to slowly eliminate that omen. Obviously, Jesse winning the 1v1 versus Rossi is huge too. And from there, it's basically done and dusted for Global. Seven to five, or seven to one already, sorry. Five is now the most that Global could walk away with this from. They have some ults to make this happen. Have to avoid the lockdown. I imagine once they spot this killjoy, they'll probably head somewhere else. But no, they're committing to B. Well, they might not even know that Borkum's there quite yet. The arrow gets shot down. They at least know somebody's up there. But, uh, I don't know. It, yeah, it's all coming from yellow, so Borkum knows that. But, meanwhile, knives come out nice. from mid, and Global Esports, they are just causing disarray. They just... I like this, pushing as a group and trying to go for as many positions as possible to catch them on the crossfire. Ching does at least get Rossi, which is nice, but it's a, it's the beginning of an uphill battle. Still player advantage in favor for Global. Ching has an inkling that someone will be on the spike if the timing won't work out for him. On the cross, oh, Jesse nearly oh. punishes the Reina. Dismiss will get them out of dodge. Dubstep has an op. It's not ideal for retaking, especially with this smoke coming through. And you have to imagine Brenna going to go for the save. Lightning Fast is back game. here. Only has a Sheriff. This is a hot, a low no risk, way. high reward play. Gets Dubstep there. Jesse isn't going to be able to recover the op or even just buy back into this. Even after losing that one round midway through their streak, they still have enough money to get back into this. Light armor, though. So potentially... With some good shots coming in from Global, they could probably lock this down, but we'll wait and see. They just got to be that confident team that we know them to be. And if Global are able to take this round away from Bren Esport, suddenly a 7-5 half is looking much more possible, and 7-5 is something that yes. you can be content with walking away from because Bren will be on Eco after this round if they lose or even if they don't win it by a lot. They have Crep Dispenser very deep into B long. That is so risky. Gets spotted pretty early, has to use the Leer just to get away. Trying to dodge away from that Hunter's Fury too. Will be able to do so with relative ease. Meanwhile, things getting pretty bloody over on the A site. But Skills pushes a little bit too far forward without any assistance. Now one player is in, has to wait for the spike to get escorted this direction though. And by the time that one is over here, Brenny's port could have rotated they decide to play it safe instead they have the lockdown a retake here is very feasible for them yeah player advantage too it's all coming up brendan theory uh especially with the fact that there's so much damage on the sova that said shot just before the smoke goes down jesse is out of the picture that means a lot of the intel that they could have potentially gotten is not going to exist there, and they just have to hope that this lockdown was enough. They're going to throw in some mollies, maybe a turret, just to see if they can do anything. Dubstep will drop the smoke to protect their team, but it's a get-down situation. They shoot Borkum as well. The deep user is just to spend seat. Maybe they can put some round, some weapons away. There. Global, on the other hand, having an excellent uh, post-plant. They hold up as long as they could on A to just catch players who pushed in too early. That worked out really well for Rossi and Hellranger. And now they just get to play oh! into this eco. Of course, an eco with a blade storm. Hardly an eco at all. Ooh, classic. No right click necessary. Dubstep, good for two. Wow, that, talk about value. Get your, get your two for right there. They, that does mean the op is down. I don't think anybody's going to try to uh, you know, replicate Rasa's playstyle. Uh, and a third! Oh my goodness! The knives are gone, but the skill is still there. Dubstep making it expensive for Global Esports. And this, what should be a throwaway round, is looking winnable. Brand Esports just have to play slow. Look how split Global are across the map right now. Lightning Fast will catch oh, one. Has no. to get the heck out of dodge. No ammo. Not able to take that fight against Ching. 
He does use that Neural Theft, reveals that two players are really close though. This is so risky for Lightning Fast. Getting oh, spammed thing. right here. The smoke from his teammate nearly gets oh him out of dodge, gosh. but isn't quite in the perfect position. Hell Ranger now very far away. Has to play into the 1v3. Not planted ideally for him to spam this either. You have to go up so no. close to this to actually stop it from happening. And although he'll get one, he can't stop the defuse. Hell Ranger goes just down. pushing up one by one. Literally gave. Dubstep three one v ones, which is just so much value right there. Now Brenny Sport, no matter how this last round goes, they feel great about their defense. Paranoia already used early and mid, actually, by global esports. Didn't catch anything. Nobody pushed. Nobody got map control with that. And now they're all spotted by the owl drone as well. Great swing from Dispenser and Borkum applying a lot of pressure. This is getting worse and worse for global esports this by the uh -oh. second. Hell Ranger will stabilize a little bit. They have to worry less about that mid pressure now, but still the omen has crept forward. Up to tube they go. Bladestorm out. No! And an ambitious dash there for Rossi. Borkum ready for the second, but not ready enough. It will be that one for one trade. Hell Ranger aware of the player behind them, but completely unsupported as the Sova has crept all the way over to B, spotted and everything. A trade there with Dispenser, and it doesn't go his way. Meanwhile, Hell Ranger also. I mean, 9-3 is not a great half, but at least they got something going for them. And defense side, I think with their passive playstyle going on right now, it could be easy to bring it back. So they have a few rounds to their name. Let's see if they can start stringing some more together here, Paul. They could also oh. just have that happen. Okay, where, sure. Where they play passive and they play split across the map. So they lose out here. Oh, don't tell me. No. Oh, lightning fast. Not lightning fast on the draw right there. Dispenser beats him to it. Rossi good for three, though, with the ghost. Makes this very winnable for Global Esports. A round that started off so poorly. A desperately needed pistol round here for Global. Now looks doable at the very least. Information. And they're going to spot where both players are. That's so much information for Global. They can move forward and be prepared for the swings. They're just going to try and eliminate the enemy. Borkum on the first, on the second, though. And then comes around for the third. Not quite able to make that. Dismiss will carry skills back to the spike. No smoke remaining, though. Has to go for the kill. For time. This is so Running smart. out of time to do so. The Sova just hiding behind the box. Will peek out slowly but surely. Jumping over oh, the box with the, the right shot. click. Although Jesse won't survive. Those managed to play around yellow in a fashion that was very commanding. Now Global Esports, they're going to have to basically fight for overtime at this point. It's deja vu, Paul. Cool. Oh, Hell Ranger almost wasn't spotted by that. Instead gets absolutely demolished by the Owl Drone Dispenser combo. Love that escort from Bren Esport. They use the Owl Drone not only to take space, but to punish enemy players who are too far up. Lightning Fast now all alone. Does have the classic. Right click's pretty good for stopping a spike plant if you can actually get to the spike. Unfortunately, it's not happening in the box. It'll happen next to it. And the alarm bot gives away Lightning Fast position. Just have to play slow here. It is the anti-eco. Don't really expect them to get much done. He'll get taken down. Slowly but surely, Global. Losing out this round. More than likely, I mean, not even more than likely, 100% guaranteed that <laughs> Score Ryan will lead, read 11 3 after this. Come on, Paul, you never know with this shorty. I really oh. do know, though, Bemi. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Even then, I just don't think you want to try to challenge this aggression from Dubstep. They are just going to start pushing down wherever they go. And it looks like potentially, yay. Okay. That said, though, Rossi gets some fall, get some, some value, and. Now they're in an awkward you situation. The dispense combo cannot happen. They are taking over A. I do like this from Bren Esports. They spot the op over toward B, immediately throwing the lockdown, and now they're pushing onto the A site. No time wasted by Bren. They will lose one player in a trade to skills. The spike will get planted here. Bren Esports planted. need to be watching their post plants position. Right now they're all stuck toward the spike. Oh, they barely get away there. Nice nano storm two skills. Oh, gets demolished by that one. Global esports chance is looking so rough. Ooh, skills nearly caught by that two was just around the box there. Borkin they have is intel too. So far forward. This is so doable for Bren Esports. Jesse does find one and Borkum will put down the second mat and match point. Now. Diffuse that anywhere. 
that is in sight or line of sight of that, you're pretty much almost guaranteed to get destroyed and only really halfway for your teammates and then out of commission. Now, Globe Esports, they fight for overtime with only three rounds behind them. Uh... I'm still it's trying to be half glass for you. I'm trying. I'm I trying. Don't, I don't think we can say the glass is half anything at this point. <laughs> is there a glass? I don't know. There definitely is a glass. Run Esport have just chugged it and oh. not really left much in the uh, department there for Global. Hell Andrew not having a good time. Beautiful swing there by Bren. At least the paranoia is dodged and. Rossi can make this costly over toward the B site. Suddenly, Bren Esport don't know if they really want to go forward, but they're stuck behind yellow. So going back is also a risk. Here comes the swing. Ooh, just narrowly misses, and that's a nasty tag. I believe leg shot or through the box right there on oh. Rossi. Once Rossi's pushed off, suddenly Bren feel much more confident. Lightning fast on a long angle here can support Rossi, who right now is just... Honestly, doing guerrilla warfare against Bren Eastport, but he's all alone. 12 health through his name. Gets the first, but the second will be denied, as is the series, as Bren Esports take it 2-0. to zero.